Welcome back, adventurers, to another episode of the Bestiary, where you'll learn everything you need to know about the creatures of fantasy. For this episode, we'll be uncovering the mysteries of one of the most dangerous birds in fiction. It's part rooster, part snake, and part dragon. It's the one and only vile cockatrice. Cockatrice are a truly legendary creature. Their origin date back to the 13th century from a number of different books and writings. Legend states that a cockatrice is born when an egg laid by a chicken is incubated by a toad or a snake. A cockatrice's appearance reflects this strange occurrence. They have the head of a rooster and the body of a reptile, and also said to have the wings of a bat or a dragon. Now in order to ward off a cockatrice's birth, you could throw a suspicious egg over the family house without hitting the roof, disenchanting it, but at the same time it would also break your egg. The cockatrice is one of the most formidable beasts for its size and it should be avoided. They have a poisonous breath, but are most known for their ability to petrify, turning their victims to stone. Now how exactly they do this varies on who you ask. Some claim that being bitten multiple times turns the victim to stone. However, others claim that you need only to stare into the bird's eyes. Cockatrices don't have to worry about harming their own kind though, they are immune to their own powers of poison and petrification. If you're familiar with monsterology, you may have noticed that the cockatrice's powers are nearly identical to those of the basilisk. Interestingly, in early stories, the basilisk and the cockatrice were interchangeable names for the same monster. However, as time passed, the world learned and separated them into the two different creatures they are today. These stupid, vile, and disgusting birds are avoided by all living things out of fear of being turned into stone. Cockatrices live and reproduce in their filthy dens where up to 12 of them can live at a time. They will relentlessly defend their territories from anything they deem a threat. This is troublesome because lone males who wander to build their own new dens will find themselves often walking into humanoid settlements. This often leads to deadly results for its population. The males greatly outnumber the females of the species. Males are distinguished by their waddles and cobs like any regular rooster. A typical cockatrice stands just over 2 feet tall and weighs about 25 pounds. A cockatrice's diet is similar to that of a normal chicken, consuming seeds and insects. The cockatrice does have some unusual weaknesses. The common weasel and ferret, two creatures who could excel at stealing a cockatrice's eggs, are completely immune to being turned to stone by them. Cockatrices also have an unexplained fear and are enraged by the common chicken. They are equally likely to flee or attack when meeting one. When encountering a cockatrice, remain alert and do not look directly into the bird's eyes. Keep your distance and avoid letting it contact your bare skin, unless you wish to transform into stone. Do not take its poisonous breath lightly, though I have not mentioned it much here. Prolonged exposure can be fatal. Now, should you be unlucky enough to encounter a flock of cockatrice, you're most surely doomed without aid. A group will viciously swarm their target's face. Now, adventurers who have power over nature, like druids and rangers, can best defeat a cockatrice. They will be able to call upon the creatures immune to a cockatrice's powers or those it fears. They will also be able to use their healing magic to dispel or prevent a cockatrice's deadly powers. So that's everything you need to know about the cockatrice, that truly nasty bird. Well friend, be sure to return to me should you seek any new information about another beast. Until then adventure, safe travels.